My name's Josh, and this is Brave Bear Farm. Today, we're working on a trailer build. So we're trying to build just a small utility trailer, utility trailer, uh, just so we can use on the farm and use for other fun stuff like uh, kayak and stuff like that. We can throw the, throw the uh, boats in here easily without having to throw them on top of the roof of a Suburban. That's not very fun. So um, I've actually already been working on this thing. A lot of the, the build has happened at night. So in the process, um, that's just not been very good to uh, film. So. Um, I'm going to catch you up on where we are now and show you what we got so far. So we are building a trailer, just a utility trailer out of a jet ski trailer. We got that. We picked up the trailer from um, a local um, marine company that just works on uh, jet skis and stuff like that. Uh, they had some stuff, some of these trailers just piled up that people would drop them off and actually not come back and get them. So we bought the trailer for 50 bucks and the lumber we actually get from a local um a local lumber company that cuts their own lumber this is all just rough cut lumber um we got that for about 130 bucks and probably the hardware into it we're we're into the hardware about 45 bucks so somewhere around 200 bucks for a, a pretty good utility trailer um we're kind of excited so uh, basically uh the bottom is just uh four by fours across the bottom and we bolted those directly on let's see if i can get down there with this um we bolted those directly on like this with these big long bolts that actually go through the four by four the decking is on top of it but uh the bolts go all the way through and hold down so we're good there then we have these long uh six some of them are six some of them are eight inch screws that go into the four by four so we have four by four running across here somewhere around here one running through the middle and again so there's five four by fours underneath um attached just like this one is running all the way across um and those we act, again this is rough cut lumber it's not treated lumber um but for a utility trailer we thought that would be fine so it's rough cut lumber so we stained it um my father actually went over to, I think, Home Depot and went to their paint counter and there was paint that somebody had mixed up that they had returned or didn't want or something like that. And he, he basically got a $40 gallon of paint or that stain uh, for about nine bucks. So we stained the bottom. Um, I'll probably paint the rest of it as well um, later on just for added protection for this stuff up here. But for this up here, we put, um, you know, three inch screws here but i also just for added stability um i added this big lag bolt in there as well just because um my dad and i actually made two of these um my dad just made his and I, i'm i'm now trying to make mine dad didn't put these in but he only went too high on on the the board so his was about that high i'm going an extra two because i want this to be able to carry my sheep stuff like that in as well so i wanted it to come up a little higher um so Basically today we're just gonna hopefully try to finish it out and uh, and see where we are. All right, so I'm gonna get working back on this thing, try to hopefully get it finished today. Um, there may be some, a few odds and ends that I don't quite get wrapped up today, but um, it's pretty cold out here. Hopefully the wind doesn't, doesn't bother you too much. Uh, a lot of this I'm probably gonna speed up for you so you don't have to sit here and watch everything that I'm doing. Um, but I am gonna I'm gonna work on the sides right now on all three of the this side, the back side, and, and the far side there. The tailgate I'm gonna work on in a little bit later. But uh, I did make one mistake on, on this build. I'm gonna point that out to you um, and show you how how I'm gonna fix it. But probably how if you were doing it, how you should do it better. All right, I'm just gonna get started. <laughs>
All right, one thing to consider since I'm getting my my lumber as a rough cut uh, from a local sawmill, um, this is rough cut. So it's when I order the sides are one by eights, it's actually one inch thick and it's actually eight inches wide. Um, when you buy stuff from Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, box stores or a, a, an actual lumber place, uh, it's typically the finished product. So therefore, it started as a one by eight, just like this is, but they've planed it down, they've smoothed it up, and uh, in, in that process, they take off, um, you know, about a, sometimes it's almost like a third of, or a quarter of an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch, they'll take off, um, and, and narrowing it down, trying to plane it up. And it would normally be, if you order a 10 foot section, it's gonna be 10 foot, usually on the dot. Um, with this rough cut, it's not always that way. And as you saw, I had to go back and, and actually, I measured it, cut it, but then I realized that the front end wasn't actually square, so I had to go back and square up that front end. So you're gonna have to make sure to check on those kind of things and make sure you know at least one end is square before you cut the other one. So that's something to think of when you if you're working with rough cut. Again, and it's not treated, which I don't really like treated uh, for a lot of my animals anyway. But this isn't that big a deal. It's not a permanent enclosure or anything for any animals, but. Um, but in this case, like I said, we're, we're just going to put some stain and some paint on it just to, to keep it from wear and tear. But for, for our purposes and what we're using it for, um, this is going to work out great. And again, something I want you to understand, I'm not a master craftsman. And this is not going to look uh, like a, a, a beautiful mansion when we're done with it here. So I'm much like Joel Salatin. I don't know if you've read Joel Salatin's book, You Can Farm. Um, if you haven't, I, I strongly uh, urge that and suggest that. Um, but he mentions, you know, function over form, all that sort of stuff. So I'm, I'm much more, uh, let's get something working really well and, and uh, rather than making it look so great. My dad is a much better at making things look a lot better than I am. But anyway, let's get back to it. I'm gonna take you in. Give you a kind of kind of finish that first side um so as you can see i kind of left a little bit of space it's not a perfect line i'm not i don't know i don't measure very well something i don't know i'm not great so and you also see that this goes above a couple of inches i tended to go there um i must have miscalculated or not these were probably a little longer than eight inches um, I calculated them for them to be exactly eight inches. Some of them are probably wider. As you can tell, even with this rough cut lumber, like some of it's thicker than others. Like that one is a lot thicker than this one. So um, consistency is not always the same, but it's okay for my purposes. But here, like my tailgate is gonna come up into this section here. So I wanted my tailgate to be able to stop up against that as it closed. So it's, it's more stable. So it, when, when the tailgate comes up after I make it, it's gonna come up and kind of fit in that groove there and stop so that my tailgate's not flopping back and forth. Um, but just wanted to show you a little bit of that. Uh, I'm, we'll touch on that, that uh, mistake I made earlier. Um, here, um, this two by here should have been moved over to the outside edge of this. So it just should come over uh, to here instead of down here um, that way I can put screws in here that would go here into this one and again firm up this corner much better so this corner of the trailer would be firmer what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice some wood to go in this gap because because of earlier mistakes I've already taken this lag bolt out once and put it back it's not fun I'm not doing that again so I'm just going to splice a piece of 2x4 to go right in here and then I can throw screws in this way and in that way and that still will help firm up this corner all right we're running out of daylight on this build but we were able to get three sides on um probably gonna need some help on the uh on the tailgate anyway so um we're looking good i'll show you through some of the things that we've we've done so far all right so this side ended up man much better line down through here on this inside joint through here it was a lot e more even um and as you can tell it's a little closer to the uh 
original thought of how how long these boards were going to be this one over here i was off quite a bit more and as you can see my line running down through there is not nearly as even but um my dad has an old saying uh measure twice cut once uh i go with the old adage eyeball it once cut as needed so to fix this corner here i just took a scrap piece of two by four stuck it right there ran me a line down there took it inside to my table saw ripped it down there came out with this piece here now i'm going to take this piece i'm going to pilot hole it so this piece doesn't split i'm going to screw it from here and from here we're gonna fix that so that's gonna make that a lot sturdier here in this corner and that's all I need I didn't have to move this thing all the way over and try to work that thing back in and out so that's pretty much it for today we're gonna to finish up tomorrow and uh, hopefully get the tailgate on and get everything ready to go all right so day two trying to finish up the trailer here today we're looking at doing the tailgate I'm hoping it's gonna be long enough to, to drive up a zero turn lawnmower on it um i'm not sure if that's gonna be the case we may have to actually back up and punt and do some different things so um you may see us do something and pull it off and try something different i don't know we'll see how it works but uh we're gonna get started <laughs> trailer build so we started off day before yesterday and I was one piece of one by eight short of having enough to go as high as I wanted to go on the tailgate so I had to stop I ended up doing a little bit more I'll show you uh, catch you back up where we were um, but I had to go buy another stick of lumber and a little bit more hardware I went ahead and got another hinge just because I want to have uh, three hinges on it rather than just two so I'll show you what we got so far all right, so here's the gate so far. We end up going up a little higher with the two by fours here because I want to go five planks high. I got one, two, three. I want to go two more planks high, which will be one plank higher than the side. I got four on the side. Um, I was hoping that would be enough, but as you can tell, um, that angle is not going to cut it for... Um, driving a lawnmower up on i think it would be fine for my sheep and animals but if i wanted to drive a zero turn uh lawnmower on that it's not gonna happen so um i'm going to end up using some of the spare sheets like this as a ramp to go up the back as well but i'm going to try something crazy i'm going to try to hinge that so that it falls down and does not stick way up high in the air i don't want it that looks dumb uh, if that's the case i may if, if, if my idea doesn't work, I'm just going to make separate ramps to hook on here to, to drive a lawnmower up into. Um, so we're going to keep working and hopefully try to finish up a little bit more. Again, don't have much until the uh, daylight runs out. on this I measured to what I thought would be exactly right of course like I said these boards are a little wider than eight inches so I ended up being off a little bit there this one I guessed I said you know what it should have been at 40 inches 
I went ahead and went to a 41 and it ended up almost perfect, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. I guess, and I get it right. I try to measure it and get it wrong. So um, that is pretty much the tailgate. I'm gonna add that hinge you see on the ground there to the middle. I'm gonna add some ramps on it, but it's a little higher um, than the trailer. So it's looking all right. I'm gonna work on the hinge right now so I can just keep this thing closed. And then I'm gonna fold it down and actually put more screws in it. Pretty simple chain mechanism on here to uh, hold that tight. All right, we're nearly done with the trailer. Ran out of light again last night. I'm really tired of this project. I'm ready to be done with it. Um, so where we ended last is I put some safety chains on here. This safety chain screwed into this and it's got that locking nut that's gonna lock into this uh, here. I'm adding this um, just because I want to be super safe and this doesn't quite keep it latched um, all the way up so by pulling Jackson you pull that by pulling that that's gonna keep it latched I don't normally like these latches when I'm really holding something but this is more just to keep this thing pushed up all the way and that leaves this one and this one as a safety mechanism. Um, also, we added some bolts all the way through these hinges, all the way through this one by eight. Just so these, I didn't have enough, so I ran out of bolts, but um, that will probably be replaced eventually too. But the, just so these screws don't get pulled out as something's running up on top of it, um, added those bolts. We ended up adding another hinge in the middle. And then, so we added lag bolts in right here as well. Some bigger lag bolts to go, that goes down into this and deeper into the four by four below. So try to make sure these were, were really stable. So as you can tell, we've already had some test runs that didn't work out so well. So we were planning to put, to mount these on the back of that. And like I was telling you, I was gonna hinge these so that they wouldn't stick up farther than the tailgate. These themselves aren't even gonna work, so we didn't even go that far. So what we've done is we've come up with this. This is um, just an extra ramp that we can load up into the, into the trailer when we need it for this. So we're going to test with my fancy tancy test dummy on if this is gonna work. We actually have not tried this yet. We think this is our best idea yet. Um, we've tried a couple of things. We actually have gotten it up in, um, but it didn't work out really well. Um, didn't get it back off was, was harder. So uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna film the test dummy, dummy as he uh, drives up the ramp. All right, here we go, test one. Don't get no huge start. Don't get a big running start. start. I think he was a little nervous. All right, so he was brave enough to put it on, but he's not brave enough, <laughs> brave enough to take it back off. I want to see if we can back it off. That's That's been much better success than we've had so far. So let's try to get it off.
victory. All right, so what I will tell you, ramps, yeah, we tried those too. Yeah, no. Ramps, individual single tire ramps with a lawnmower, not a great idea. This wider um, ramp is gonna work much better. So that's gonna help us get a lawnmower in and out when we want a lawnmower in there, which is not gonna be all the time. Um, and it may not be very often at all. We don't, we don't really know, but um, we just wanted it there just in case, but um, it works. So that's pretty much the build. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some spare pieces like this and I'm going to run them across the front so that we can put a tool chest up here that we can uh, strap down, lock down, screw down. So let's, let's see if we can get that done. All right, so we're gonna use self tappers and mount this plate here. It's taking a little longer than I wanted, but I think I'm done. I think I can use the trailer. Add a box onto the front here so that we can throw tie straps, uh, hitches, all sorts of stuff like that in here. Um, oh, you know what? I need to add my, my piece in there um, to stabilize that. But otherwise, I think this is good. As soon as I get my son to get in here and clean my mud out of my brand new trailer, hey. we'll be good to go. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> but I think it turned out really good. Hopefully uh, we'll test it here soon and get some sheep up in this thing and uh, see if it works. All right, that's it for the trailer build. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, total cost about $215 for a 10 by five trailer. Uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Please subscribe. Thank you for coming to the farm and we'll see you next time.